What's going on everyone? It's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. So the number one question I always get asked in the comment section or through my emails is how to lose belly fat and overall how to shed body fat and get lean, get shredded. And this video is gonna be a complete step-by-step -step guide with pretty much everything you need to know, all the steps that I've personally been taking to lose all of my body fat and just in general get shredded, get lean, and most importantly, an enjoyable way. I've been cutting for 12 weeks now and the steps that I'm about to explain to you all are every single thing that I have been taking to really take my physique to the next level. And most importantly, just do things the right way. There's so much BS out there online and I truly just want this video to be the number one stop where everyone comes to how to lose just overall belly fat and body fat in general and get into the best shape of their lives. So in this video, I'm gonna be discussing five main key topics. First one being cardio, second one being weight training, and the third one that's gonna be abdominal training. And for the fourth topic, we're gonna to talk about nutrition. And for our fifth and final topic, we're gonna to talk about my key strategies and my secrets to really making all of these key things very easy and overall just a lot more applicable to my lifestyle and kind of some like secrets that I've been personally been taking that you're not gonna hear much about on YouTube. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to give it a like right now before you uh, go ahead and watch the entire thing. And of course, share it with all your friends and family who found it helpful, motivating, inspiring in any sort of way and let's get on to topic number one which is going to be cardio When it comes to cardio training to lose belly fat and overall body fat, there's two different forms of cardio training that I personally do. One being low intensity steady state cardio, which in short stands for LISS, and the second one being high intensity interval training, which in short stands for HIIT. Now let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is low intensity steady state. Now when it comes to low intensity steady state cardio, it is pretty much the most common form of cardio people do when it comes to losing body fat and belly fat in general. And the whole purpose is for it to put you at a bigger caloric deficit so you don't always have to keep decreasing your food. You can just increase your low intensity steady state cardio for the week. And when it comes to low intensity steady state cardio for the week on a cut to lose body fat, I always recommend people start their cut with two sessions of 300 calories burned of low intensity steady state cardio so so many people think that you need to calculate your sessions by how many minutes you do stop doing that start counting it by your caloric burn and my favorite way to do low intensity steady state cardio is to put it at a very high incline which is around 10 to 12 and then putting the speed to around 3 to 3.2 and pretty much this is going to keep your heart rate at a moderate level and you just keep going until you burn 300 calories and I find that incline and that speed is pretty much the most effortless way to do low intensity steady state but at the same time burns the most amount of calories. Now my second form of cardio training is high intensity interval training and this is something that is very, very effective for most people. It's kind of like a secret weapon to fat loss. And if you're stalling on your weight loss, go ahead and try adding one or two sessions of these in every week uh, into your routines. And I usually do not recommend exceeding over 15 minutes of high intensity interval training, just because it is very taxing on the CNS. Also, don't do more than like three sessions per week. I typically stay at around two sessions per week just to change it up a little bit. It's a little bit more fun. I personally enjoy it more than low intensity steady state and it's definitely a great workout to do. When it comes to high intensity interval training, typically I like doing 10 rounds, 15 second sprints, and then 45 seconds walk. And pretty much just repeating that 10 times, that'll be one hit session for me. Anyways, let's go on to our second topic, 
which is our weight training. Alright, so when it comes to our weight training, we are going to discuss three principles that you really need to focus on, and that is going to be your split and your frequency, and then the third and last is progression. So you need to first figure out how many days per week that you want to train, whether it be three, four, five, or six days per week, and then pick a good split. Uh, revolved around that many days that you want to train. It could be push-pull legs, it could be upper-lower split, or it could be a three days per week full body split. And that's the most important thing. You want to make sure you're training with frequency, whatever split you choose. You want to make sure you're hitting every muscle group at least two, maybe even three times per week. And then with whatever split and however much frequency you're using with every single exercise, you want to make sure you're training with progression. So you're constantly focusing on progressing on every single exercise that you're performing, whether it be using more weight every session or doing one extra rep of weight that you first couldn't do before, if you know what I mean. But it's life I cannot change. All right, so as I stated earlier in the video, I've been dieting for 12 weeks now, and it's crazy how much different your physique can look like in just one week when you truly focus in and dial into these principles that I'm telling you all about when it comes to your diet, training, and cardio. So I've been taking it 100, 110% serious this past week. So let me quickly show you a one week physique comparison update. Alright, so for the next topic, we're going to talk about abdominal training. So when it comes to getting a six pack and an overall well developed core, I personally only do three exercises. Hey girl, what it do do? If you got friends, cool, bring a few through. No fun if the homies can't have no R.I.P. Nate dog shit is too true. And you know what I'm down for. Round two, round three, and a round four. For the first abdominal exercise, I usually do the weighted ab cable crunches, which is mainly focused for my upper abs. And when it comes to my lower abdominals, I usually do weighted knee raises. And notice guys, I always say weighted because when it comes to your abs, when it comes to building a well-defined core, a muscular, you know, thick core, you need to make sure you're training them weighted just like any other movement or any other muscle group. But when it comes to weighted knee raises, you just want to put a dumbbell in between your feet or in between your knees and just do a knee raise. And that's a great way to build your lower abs, especially because usually that's the hardest part to build. But that's usually what I like doing. And when it comes to more hypertrophy, I like doing leg raises, hanging leg raises as well. More of an advanced movement though. But for the third exercise, I typically like doing ab rollout. 
workouts with the ab wheel. That's a great, great way to build a great foundation for your core and overall develop your strength. And I also like doing planks or some oblique twists as well, but usually I stick to the ab wheels. Now these exercises are typically going to focus on targeting my obliques and my overall core development. And I also enjoy doing hanging windmills, but just know that those are advanced movements as well. But that is typically exactly what I do when it comes to my abdominal training, guys. Very simple, very effective. And I hope you all enjoyed the examples as well so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's talk about one of the most important things when it comes to losing belly fat which is topic number four and that is nutrition so you need to understand that abs are made in the gym however they're revealed in the kitchen you need to focus on being on a caloric deficit daily which means that you are consuming less calories than you are burning in order for your body to lose fat and I personally track my macronutrients for the day which is specifically counting your carbs protein and fats just to be hundred percent accurate that I'm on a caloric deficit consistently on a daily basis and I'll adjust these numbers weekly for when I stall with my weight loss. I keep a majority of my diet with whole unprocessed foods. However, I do enjoy some flexibility from time to time because I do practice more of a flexible approach when it comes to dieting. And here's a little bit of a clip and edit of some foods that I enjoy on a daily basis when it comes to losing belly fat. And final step of this video, I'll be sharing with you all some key essential secret strategies that I've personally been using that have made all these steps that I've shared with you all in this video a lot more easier to do and just overall stay consistent with. And the first thing is going to be intermittent fasting. Overall, it's just help keep my appetite suppressed and help me stay a lot more consistent when it comes to being in a caloric deficit. And overall, just enjoy big meals and just you know live a more flexible lifestyle when it comes to dieting. The second thing is going to be fasted cardio. It just makes it a lot more convenient for me to hit my cardio and make sure that I'm not skipping any sessions. And the third thing is going to be sticking to a high carb and lower fat diet. I personally find that I have a lot more energy when I'm eating higher carbs and lower fats opposed to higher fats and lower carbs. So it just works very good for me. And the last thing is very, very essential to me and that is reverse pyramid training. And that just ensures that I'm always at my strongest even while I'm losing body fat and losing weight. It ensures that I'm still lifting heavy and maintaining all of my muscle mass because I'm lifting heavy and I'm still uh, maintaining my strength throughout my entire cut. So before I end this video off, I wanna share with you all something extremely important and I just wanna give back to you all. I know it's gonna help so many of you out there and I've personally created something called the Diastetics Workout Routine and it is my personal weight training, cardio, and ab routine that I've been doing for pretty much the past two years that has ultimately gotten me to where I am today when it comes to my physique and it's just given me tremendous results. So if you wanna get this free workout routine, the Diastetics Workout Routine, all I ask of you is to just give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with my content and also be sure to go to my Instagram which is diabetic.aesthetics I'll have it right over here and to give me a follow and then shoot me a DM saying that you want the diastetics workout routine and I'll be sure to send it to you as soon as possible and like I said guys try it out for a few weeks I know for a fact that you will get probably the best results you've ever gotten in your entire life and I'm pretty pretty freaking positive about it I'm so confident that you guys will love it and within a few weeks I want you to follow back up with me either through you know sending me a DM sending me an email or sending me a message through my contact form on my website which is www.diabeticaesthetics.com and let me know what kind of results you get and how you enjoy the program and if you want to personally work with me for one-on-one -on -one online coaching to take things to the next level because you just love the routine that much let me know and I'd love to work with you I'll give you all the information I can and I hope you all enjoyed this video as you all saw I've made insane results in just one week consistently following every single step that I shared with you all in this video just look at my conditions look at my circumstances circumstances. Just remember guys, I'm a type 1 diabetic. I have celiac disease. I'm a college student. I have all of these restrictions in my life and I still make it happen and I'm still enjoying every minute of the process and just doing it the right way. And I want to make sure that you're doing that as well. But anyways, that is going to wrap up the video. I really hope that you all enjoyed this. I hope it's been extremely helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like, give it a share with all your friends and family. 
And of course, make sure you share on your social media and subscribe to my channel right over here so you're always up to date on my newest content. Got tons of cool stuff coming up. And then also, if you wanna check out my latest video, I'll be sure to put it right over here. So go ahead and check that out. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Really appreciate you all watching.